Welcome to Resizing and Printing Craft Patterns. I'm Bob, also known as Triple B from ScrollSawForum.com. As a craftsperson, I enjoy looking for patterns and, you know, always looking for a new creation to make. Sometimes when you find those patterns, they just aren't quite what you need it to be, so it needs to be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, or a lot bigger. And sometimes that can be a little difficult, so I've come up with a way of resizing my patterns and I thought I would share it with you. Typically we find our patterns in either books, magazines, or on the internet. This procedure will work for any type of craft you do as long as it's a paper pattern. I use a scroll saw and I do intarsia so I'm going to use examples of scroll saw and intarsia during this video. But if you do paper cutting, stained glass, sewing, crochet, or anything again that requires a paper pattern this procedure will work in order to resize the patterns we need to have the latest version of Adobe Reader reader installed in your computer if you already have version 10 or 11 you can skip this step and just fast forward a little bit if you don't have it I put a link down below in the video notes all you gotta do is click it and it'll bring you to this page it's just pretty much as simple as clicking the download now button but before you do that I'm assuming you already have some sort of antivirus in your computer you really don't need another version clogging you up and slowing you down more so uncheck that box and then go ahead and hit download now and just follow the simple instructions for downloading once it's downloaded and we initially start to use it a couple of pop-up windows as you go and you just have to click accept or yes whatever they ask for now that we have our latest version of Adobe Reader installed we can verify that we have a PDF file by simply checking looking up here and seeing that our file extension is actually PDF for this file which is resizing pattern presentation This will work on any PDF file. It doesn't matter what you want to print. You can use this procedure to print anything from a PDF file. So let's start by simply right clicking on the page. Then we come down here to where it says print, highlight print, and left click it. And we get a pop-up screen here with our printer information on it. First thing you want to check is make sure that you are actually printing to the printer you want to you want to print to. If not, you just simply highlight here and change whatever printer you actually want to send the, the printing to. Over here on pages to print, if we have all clicked, what's going to happen here is this document is four pages long. This is page one of four. We don't want to print all four pages. That's just a waste of paper and ink. So we go come down to find our actual pattern Hi, uh, bring the pattern up, come over to pages. We know that's page number four because it was the last page and we put page four in here. And as you notice when we click pages the all is no longer checked. So now what we're, what's going to happen is once I click poster now you'll see we've got here the shell since we're increasing the size we need to use poster size doesn't work only poster works for increasing the size properly let's say we want to make the shell 125 percent bigger so we simply come down here to tile scale and type in 125 now that's our percentage increase we're increasing the entire pattern 25 percent over the original 100 percent overlap you can keep it 0 0.005 or you can change it if you need more overlap where that comes into play is when you have the cut marks the cut marks leave little indications on the paper when it prints so that you can line all the pages up together as you can see once I clicked on cut marks we've got four pages up here now which is now indicating that this pattern at 125% is going to need to print four pages out. But as you can see, there's really nothing in the bottom two. So those will print out blank and you can just stick them back in your printer and reuse them. 
So we want to make sure that we have cut marks checked, our size, and that we're on poster and that we're on the page that we want to print. And as simple as that, at that point, you just click print. If you're going to take a pattern out of a book or a magazine, we're going to need to scan it first. If you're not interested in that, you can stop the video here. But if you want to know, learn how to scan properly scan out of a book or magazine your pattern for printing or enlarging, then keep watching. When it comes to resizing patterns out of books and magazines, you really need to have a scanner. If you don't have a scanner, you're just going to have to take your book to a local office supply store and have them do it there or do it yourself at uh, one of the scanners or one of the printers they have there. If you have a scanner, then what we need to do is we need to get your pattern scanned properly so that we can convert it to a PDF file so that we can resize it using the process we just used. There are hundreds if not thousands of different types of printers out there with their and they all have their own different printer software. So for me to try to go through individual printers and scanners is not possible. You're going to have to figure a little bit of that out on your own. What's important is whether or not your printer can scan to a PDF file. And you'll know that when after you click the scan button and scan your document, somewhere on the screen it should say save as PDF. If it doesn't give you that option, then you'll have to do it another way, which I'll show you. And it's, it's not too hard. It's just one more little step we have to do. The most important part about scanning a pattern out of a book or magazine is that you have the pattern perfectly flat on the scanner bed when you scan it. If the pattern on the page is small enough, you should be able to get the book to lay out on your scanner without a problem and, keep, and hold it down nice and flat as you're scanning. If it's a big pattern and it's close to the binder, the binder, if you put the book in there, the binder will actually hold the pattern up and make it kind of round. And when you print it out, the pattern will print distorted and it won't, it simply will not come out right. Unfortunately, the only way I found around it is to actually carefully cut the page out of your book or the magazine and then you can put it on the flatbed scanner and it'll remain nice and flat. And then you can simply scotch tape the page back into the book. I know we don't really want to do that, but sometimes that's about the only alternative other than not printing the pattern. So once you scan it, and again, if you do have the option to save your file as a PDF, save your file to someplace where you know you can get it at, and then simply click on that file, open up the PDF, and follow the previous procedure. If you can't do that, what you'll need to do is save the file as a JPEG or PNG or whatever file extension you want to use, but JPEG or PNG is the most common. Go ahead and save it as that, and then what we'll do is we're going to take you to a website, and we're going to do that right now. This website is zamzar.com, and the link is in the video notes below also. This is nothing you need to download here or anything. It's a free online file conversion site. So what it will do is it will take your the file that you scanned as a JPEG or a, P, a, a PNG, and then you can convert it to whatever extension you want. Here we want to convert it to a... PDF so that's what we'll convert it to and then it'll simply email it to us when it's done it literally only takes a few seconds after you hit the convert button it'll convert the file from the JPEG or PNG to a PDF email it to you and you've got it all you've got to do then is click on the link they send you download it save it to a file that you know where it's going to be at and then click on it and you've got your PDF file that you can 
resize however you need to resize. So we'll just do a do one real quick. We'll just come in here, click choose file. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to because of the video. I can't use that as an example. But anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. You choose your files. Normally, the your browser will come up and you can pick the file wherever you saved it at. You come over here and then you, you scroll down until you find PDF. It'll be under documents. You search under documents. You don't search. You just look under documents until you get the PDF. Convert file to PDF. You put your email address in here and then convert and then check your email and the document will be there. And that's pretty much it. That's It's an extra step you have to do, but when your printer will not or your scanner will not convert to PDF, this is a simple, easy, free way to convert your document so that you can resize it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and good luck with your resizing.